There are many vehicles of all shapes and sizes capable of traveling at hypersonic speeds these days. Many of them are weapons or weapons platforms, but the world is currently looking at potential applications for such high-speed machines in civilians' hands as well. Like say, to fly people from Los Angeles to Tokyo in under two hours. Just in case you don't know how long such a trip takes today, I'll tell you that would be close to 12 hours, so the gain would be tremendous. But how would such a thing be possible? If you are into what's happening in the aerospace industry, you may have heard a thing or two about a company called Venus. Established five years ago and based in Houston, Texas, this crew has a stated mission of developing a breakthrough propulsion technology that could be used to power weapons and civilian aircraft with equal skill. The solution Venus is going for is essentially a combination between a rotating detonation design, or RDRE, and a ramjet. The power plant will have no moving parts per se, and should be capable of propelling whatever it is attached to at speeds of Mach 6. What's even more exciting about it is that it would enable a flying machine, whatever its nature, to lift off from a runway instead of a launch pad. And this is why the engine will not be suitable for rockets alone, but for passenger and cargo aircraft as well. The working principle behind this idea is pretty simple, and calls for the two engine types that come together in this design to be used in different stages of flight. The RDRE will be fired to accelerate an aircraft from standstill to a set speed, and then the ramjet would take over and fly the thing hypersonic. It may sound something too fantastic to be real, but Venus already has some tangible results to brag with. Back in October last year, it presented something called the VDR-2, a piece of hardware designed to take full advantage of the high thrust and efficiency of the RDRE, and the crew's capabilities of the ramjet. The first firing of the engine came in December 2024. Fast forward to May 2025 and Venus announced it performed the first US flight test of a next-generation RDRE, and at the same time the first-ever flight of an American-developed engine of its kind. It's unclear exactly when the flight occurred, but we do now it was performed at Spaceport America in New Mexico. Venus does not go into the details of what exactly happened during the flight but it does say it worked, and that proves this particular RDRE design can operate under real-world conditions, not only in the lab or in simulations. It's unclear how long the flight lasted and what speeds and altitudes were reached, but the company now claims it used the procedure to validate performance and system integrity under flight conditions. The results of the test seem to be encouraging enough for the company to now claim it is planning full-scale propulsion testing and vehicle integration of this system, including on behalf of undisclosed government partners. If everything checks out, and thanks to the scalability of the hardware, Venus can integrate the scalable RDRE, with or without its ramjet partner, into a series of vehicles. The ultimate goal for the company is the creation of an aircraft capable of taking people across the Pacific six times faster than a normal plane can. That aircraft is now called Stargazer M4, a Mach 4 capable means of transport for passengers. The plane would be able to take off from a conventional runway and the accelerate to four times the speed of sound, potentially even six times the speed of sound, but its passenger capacity won't be that great. Initial numbers spoke of 12 people fitting inside the original Stargazer design from a few years back. The maximum travel distance of the Stargazer is now estimated at 5,000 miles, which in all fairness is just short of the distance between LA and Tokyo. Knowing how the aviation industry works, Venus' estimate that the Stargazer could fly for the first time in the 2030s may seem a bit optimistic. In fact, a superficial look at all of this might have the more skeptical among us arguing that the Stargazer will probably never happen. Yet, there are plenty of big players of the industry, including Airbus, who have seen some merit in this and have already invested various amounts of money into Venus. Even NASA and the US Air Force are paying attention to what the Texans are doing, so they may very well be onto something. Only time will tell, and we'll keep an eye on Venus to see what it's up to next.